Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode and what you can do with it. Today's snippet video is about exporting. It's a function that uh, I for myself I use it rarely. I, from time to time but not that often. But I just want to show you a quick introduction what you can do. So, uh, exporting means you take your org mode file and you export it to, let's say, HTML or PDF or whatever. And org mode has a very uh, good, powerful tool for that. But before you use it, you should customize the setting org file ups. Let's see what we have in org file ups at the moment because that's the setting that determines uh, what application should be started if you for example want to open the HTML file or if you want to open a PDF. So I have customized it like that that I say HTML or XHTML is opened with Firefox in a new tab and a PDF file is opened with uh, events the PDF viewer on Linux, Linux. Okay, if you want to export, first step Control C, Control E, Control C, Control E, and now you see there is a dispatcher opening and you can select things that you want to export. You can, here you have. Uh, the scope, that means what do I want to export, do I want to export only the body or do I want to export uh, more or the export scope, control S, I can either export a subtree from my org file or I put the whole buffer, the whole file or I want to export only visible things and so on. But now let's for, for the moment let's just export to HTML and we open it. That means we press H and then you see only those three keys are red at the moment. So you can go on with O open. And now you see Firefox opens in a new tab and I have a wonderful table of contents at the top and I have all my points that I have in my file. What you see, what we don't have, let's close it a bit like that. What we don't have at the moment is all this stuff with uh, where we customize org mode. This is not there and we also don't have, for example, if you look at maintenance, you see there is not that name target, whatever we used it for. And the good thing is you, you have links here, you see, you have the to-do keywords and you have a structure, you can even follow those links. And if you look, this is headlining. You see, org mode is, is creating uh, targets. If you look down here, what uh, Firefox tells you where the, the target is, it's creating its own targets. So you have a nice file that you can put on a web server or you can print out. But at the moment there is still something missing. If you look here, I have a logbook entry and I have a logbook entry here but they don't export. So if we want them to export, you have to add an extra line that says options and then you can say D colon T. Let's activate that. Okay. Setup has been refreshed. Now we export again. You see control C, control E, HTML, open. And now you see we have this weekly review and now I have my, my logbook entry. And also here I have my logbook entry. 
So if you put an option that says uh, D colon T, T is for true, that means I have my uh, entries from the drawers except the properties drawer. Draw properties drawer is not printed in this or exported and you can even go on and say I want a backslash n to be true that means if I have in my logbook a special format with line breaks and so on they are preserved we can try this p is uh, now p is true is the planning information let's update it again and export html open and now you see we also have planning information that means when is the thing scheduled and scheduled and so on so every scheduled or every deadline would show up in the export file as well and the to do keywords actually show up let me try what happens if i say to do nil that means false uh, cc c um, export html output then you see there are no to do keywords anymore so you see you can customize your output and, and what you want to export we can just for for an example let's pretend we want to just export this gtd related things that means control c control e but now i said control s export scope is subtree let's do the same again that means html output and now you see i just have this subtree that says gtd related things and that's it if i would have uh, more levels under my subtree i would see more of course but uh, this is really simple quick export that's that's also the the way i use it sometimes because when i prepare a meeting i make a headline that says stuff for the meeting and then all the topics i want to discuss in that meeting and at the end i just say okay export this uh, subtree and i get a nice file to print and hand it to the people and say this is our today's agenda we want to discuss this okay same is true if you want to export let's export the whole buffer to latex and open it as a pdf file this takes a bit and then events opens and you see you have a nice pdf with all the things and all your information and so on and <coughs> well that's it about exporting at the moment i can only recommend that you look into the documentation there are a lot of more options and you can uh, even describe html information and so on i will probably in the next screencast i will put a bit more on on the html export and how can you uh, make it uh, look better and so on but that was the basic how do i export you see it's it's just control c e oh where am i here c e and then you get this dispatcher and here you can really select i want to export you can also export to icalendar files or you want to plain text files or whatever and if you say okay that was a mistake i just press q to exit and here i am so thanks again for watching for all the good comments that you give and i will go on of course with this uh, screencast videos there is not much stuff left really that that we can discuss i have uh, material for um, almost nine other videos in my queue and then i'm, I'm really running, running out of ideas but some people already asked me to show my really my my real personal system maybe i make a video about that sooner or later so stay tuned 
and uh, even if it takes a while at the moment because I'm quite busy, but be sure I'll be back. <laughs>